What's up, guys and gals? It's your host with the most, Kanigas, and me, Griever, as always, bringing you guys Jujutsu Kaisen, chapter 197. This time, a live reaction. I know I do these once in a while, but this week I was told uh, when the chapter dropped that uh, this would be an appropriate week to not do a review, but to do a reaction. There was a couple people, Miss Content, of course, brought it up uh, last night in Discord, and a couple people second that remark, alongside the One Piece chapter as well. So uh, this video, of course, will be out on Saturday, but it's being recorded here today on Friday. So without further ado, let's just jump right in to Jujutsu Kaisen 197. I'm curious as to why I was. Uh, people said that I should react to this one, but we're, we're, I guess we're going to find out, won't we? So, let's see. So, page number one, and of course, I really liked the last chapter, as I, as I said before, I really liked the last chapter, uh, so if you didn't check that review out, definitely go check that out. Um, so, let's see. And then, boom, we see Kamo looking at Maki, and Maki seems to be almost like, ah, that's, that's the rhythm as a dancer, you know, she got that, she got that going, all right, all right. She's clearly a different person now. What happened inside that domain in such a short amount of time? About boating with Mio, Maki has an epiphany. Or after boating with Mio, Maki has an epiphany. Let's see. And our and our dude, Katana! It's such a, you know. It's like she broke out of her shell. What did that Kappa do? All right, so, but he's more happy and intrigued. He's got that big toothy grin with a big moustache, right? So, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, now, they say a short amount of time. I still like to hold the belief that uh, the domains, where they're a different space, time acts differently. <clears throat> so I'm still going to hold to the fact that uh, Maki spent a lot more time in the domain than what actually happened outside the real world. We have no actual confirmation of that, but we actually uh, we don't really have any denial of that either. Plus, some domains could work that way while not all work that way. So even though Kamo here says what happened inside the domain in such a short amount of time, for all we know, the Ka Kappa's Mayo's uh, domain for Sumo might slow down time, might speed up time. We don't know. So uh, until it's confirmed that that's not the case, because uh, I do see a lot of the naysayers from the last couple chapters saying that the, this, this training arc, this epiphany here in the opening uh, bit happened way too quickly. For Maki to just boom, training arc is boom done in half a chapter. Boom, now she's now she's all ready to go, um, and that's fair. But I like my own little head about the domain. So, anyways, let's go. Oh, and we see um, Infamon there down the corner reaction. So let's see, Mayo, Mayo's barrier. Let's see. I knew it. Sumo is the best. Oh, well, at least he's just a lover sumo. He really his stock went up in the last chapter. Mayo's uh, barrier eliminates all elements of binding vows. As a result, time flows much faster. <laughs> boom, bada, boom, boom, boom. Ha! Oh, baby, baby, baby. You know... I'm right quite a lot. Why are people always surprised by this? That's all I gotta ask. You know, when I theorize something, everyone's like, nah, that's not true, or nah, that doesn't work, or nah, you know? I am right far more than I'm wrong, so... Ooh, yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter what happens this chapter. I was right. My headcanon. Oh, you love to read it. This, this is why. Now I know why. Now I know why people wanted the reaction. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Mayo's barrier eliminates all elements of binding vows. As a result, time flows much faster in there. I was right. That was more than one sumo match. I was totally right in the last chapter. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Because that takes all those naysayers to say, Oh, Maki got the power up so quickly. No, she didn't. Time moved a lot faster. That could have been days for all we know. Days. That could have been weeks. I, I won't go as far as months, but it could have been weeks, for all we know. Time flows much faster. So, all right. In the time it took for over 1,000 bouts, less than a minute has gone by outside the barrier. There you go. So this isn't like this isn't like half the time or like 1,000 bouts. 1,000 bouts. Let's assume each bout takes, um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's say each bout takes uh, five minutes. Five minutes. Five, it's 5,000 minutes. You know, like for a thousand bouts, for over a thousand bouts. So 
Damn. So, all right, this is fantastic because it destroys the naysayers that don't like that Maki got a training arc uh, and it just, boom, happened like that, as I said. Oh, man, I love this. I could rant about how r r right I am and how wrong the naysayers are, but... Uh, all right, let's just move on to the chapter. But I love, I love that. That is fantastic. That is, that is awesome. And Infamon over here is and so what? Boom drops down in between the three, um, goes into Infamon speed mode or whatever it's called. Uh, Doom trying to jump all over the place. Kamo reacting. He's accelerating while keeping his distance. Is he planning to do that again? Oh yeah, that super move. And then, oh, in front of Kamo, we have. Oh, our boy Sumo is up again. He's already up. He's already like, uh, yeah, Sumo is the best. So we have Kappa and Katana working together. The double K, the double K are working together. Let's go. And he's about to use some Batu Jutsu. Let's go. I need to cut more. I need to sumo more. Oh, we have that We have that angle. That angle is used so often in manga, guys, when we have badasses. Goku and Vegeta do it a lot of the time. Uh, you have it in... Um, who else does this? Who else does it quite frequently? Who does this quite frequently? It happens in Bleach a couple of times. It certainly it, it doesn't happen too much in One Piece, but it's ha anyway. Uh, Rurouni Kenshin. Uh, what was the other one I was thinking of? Yeah, yeah. Anyways, Bleach does it. Yeah. So uh, History Strongest Disciple does it too. So yeah. So it's like the. Yeah, I need to cut more. I need to sum more. What do you think? I think if we work together, we are going to kick the living shit out of this guy. Let's go. So, Kamo, they're teaming up, aren't they? In incarnated players. What's the deal with you guys? Hmm. No idea. <laughs> Kamo. Uh. What? Huh? And Samurai. No idea. No idea. I love these dudes. I told you I love these guys. Well, I didn't really care for Kappa Guy when he was first introduced. Last chapter put his stock way through the roof. It's like, I have no interest in what kind of person I am. Same. Oh, these dudes are so alike. I love that they're so different, but they're so alike in their person. That's cool. I like this. I wield a katana, and I cut what I want to cut. I'll let outsiders decide what kind of person I am. This man is just full-based. And let's, let's see what Mr. Kappa... Meow Sumo says, I still want to sumo a few more times against that young lady. Samurai, you want to give it a go too? No way. <laughs> Shot down right away. But, okay, cool, cool. And I, I have a feeling Maki is going to give him some sumo matches or something. That's cool. Let's see. Because that kid asked a trivial question. Aw, that lady got a head start on us. <laughs> oh, shit. So they were distracted. They were like, they were answering questions. Now Maki just, boom, let's go. Before this dude tries to mega digivolve to Diaboromon, I'm going to take out this motherfucker. You know, because Infamon over here is just, why? I should be the one with the overwhelming speed. Boom, 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 boom. Why can't I catch you? Oh, Infamon. You think you're Diaboromon, but you're not. The fact that you came back at all was, was ri literally one of the worst things I've read in this series. As, as... Obvious as it was that you were going to come back, Infamon, as your new Infamon form. You know, you were only a rookie level back then. When you were, uh, when you were Karamon sort of idea. You bypassed it, you got your cursed energy, you became Infamon. And some people liked it, and some people said it was so obvious, and I didn't like it, and I still don't like it, but... It's about time you realize that you're up against some mega level Digimon here. There ain't there ain't no room. There ain't no room for you and your high speed bullshit, you know, Digimon ripoffs time. There ain't no time for that. Why can't I catch you? Boom, Maki is just she's she's Spike Seagull. You know what I mean? She she's Spike from Cowboy Bebop. She's like you gotta flow like water. You don't you don't tense your body up. You just gotta flow. You just every movement, water can become a rocking waves or it can become tranquil and still. You just gotta move with the flow. Let's go. So she's boom, going forward, hup, boom, slam down. Like, let's be honest, Infamon over here is making some crazy damage to these buildings, but can't seem to hit Maki whatsoever. And, uh, Maki's just free falling right now. Noya's every move. Noya? Who's Noya? It's Infamon. I think I think too many sumo matches. She's not understanding that she's now in the digital world. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Is being replayed to me by my surroundings. Relayed to me by my surroundings. 
Without glasses, I was unable to see what others can see. Oh, that actually makes so much sense because she had glasses and everything. Oh, that's actually... Why didn't I catch that before? That sort of works. That sort of works in the way that like you can see the unseen sort of idea, what others can see and I can't see. She had glasses, so she was already... In, that would have been good. I wish I had caught that before. I'm glad it was brought up here, though. That's kind of cool. Without glasses, I was unable to see what others can see. But thanks to my, I've gained this body. Now, even without glasses, I can see curses, too. I was too content because I'm the same as everyone else now. This is good. This is some good. I like this. If it's that man, he would have reached that height. If it's that man... He would have thrown the katana with no hesitation. If it's that man, he would have deflected even at that speed. It's not enough to just be the same as everyone else. This makes so much sense why Maki was acting the way she was. She gained the new money. She finally had the power. She finally got the power, pretty much. She was weak. You know, she wasn't the same. She was handicapped. This entire series, she finally got not just on the normal level, she got beyond and she got complacent. She was like, I'm finally on on the same as everyone else. I get it. I get what she's trying to say here. She finally is on the ice. If you're a hockey player, she's finally on the field. If she's a football player, right? She finally got off the benches and onto the field. And she feels like, okay, all the limbs are working. Let's do this. And she was happy with that. She she was just happy to be a part of the team officially on the field now, not on the bench. Instead of striving to be the best on the field, to be the best quarterback, to be the best goalie, to be the best what what have you, defensive player, whatever she was going for, she just got content. I'm just glad. I'm just happy to be here. That actually makes a lot of sense. This is so good. It's not after... It's not enough to just be the same as everyone else. There are things that only I can see. Things only he could see. Boom. All right. All right. People. Some people. People who hate the Maki Toji stuff is going to absolutely despise this chapter. I love this chapter. This is fantastic. Boom. Through the building. Gotcha. And then she. Foop. Nah. Fuck you. Huh? She dodged it in midair. What the fuck? Yeah. Infamon. 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 Maki is now a mega level Digimon. You can't touch her with your ultimate form. Your ultimate form ain't no mega. Let's just be real. It's nothing special. Even the air that surrounds us has different temperatures and densities. This is actually true. These faucets are scattered everywhere. And that faucet Original raw is surface, but considering the full sentence, she's referring more about the various dots of information. Right, yeah, okay. That's just the, the writer's note. That faucet just needs to be grasped. Boom, boom. She's... Okay, so she can basically skywalk now. She can airwalk. That's some... Uh, cool. Fucking cool. I'm a cursed spirit. You're a Digimon. Jesus. Like... I don't know what the translators are up to. He's a Digimon. Uh, what use are punches that are not infused with cursed energy? I mean, she made that mistake once before. Legit made that mistake. And as she said, she got too complacent, too content, too arrogant. You know, she wasn't even thinking. But there's still members of the Zenin clan that were not killed by the cursed weapon. She, she punched some dudes to death. She used regular swords. She did a lot of shit. So... There's people that are not dead from from a cursed weapon from the Zenin clan. And that was her folly. That was her pride. But I feel like something else is going on here. Or maybe she's just doing this for us, sort of. I'm just going to beat your... It's like, yeah, I know it's not going to kill you. It's just fun to see you slamming down on your ass, you know? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Kappa. Roku Juicy. Boom. Oh, shit. We got Sumo Boy in the house. Boom. And then... Fring, oh, here we go. And the cut. <sighs> right across the middle. Blah. You. Slam into the back with a kick. Boom. No way. 
just completely took his head off, literally. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Why? Oh, once again, there's the Toji comparison. You know what's funny? Toji's little scar, I meant to bring this up last time we saw him. Every, almost every time you see him, a lot of the time he looks badass, he looks really cool. I really wish they would stop showing Toji from this angle because when it's far away, it looks like he's going, hmm. you know, like, like, hmm. You know, instead of being a cool scar across his lip, it always looks like he's going like pouting like like a like a character from Arthur or Barney or something like that. Just going, hmm. I don't want to play with you. Hmm. You know, it always looks like he's doing that. Like he's got a big wad of like steak in his cheek or something like that. It always bugs me. Just show him from the other way. Show him from the other side. Don't show the scar side because he just always looks so silly to me. I don't know if that's just me, but let's see why. Let's see. Let's see. And splurt outside of it. The one to stand there is me. Okay. Domain expansion. Oh, okay. So Noya actually comes out. It seems like he's all the way back, almost like Sakuna or whatever. Like he's in a full, he's a cursed spirit, but he's a full, or Chozo or somebody like that. He's, he actually now has a humanoid body. He's, so he has digivolved. He's digivolved to his mega form. He, we officially have Diaboramon using domain expansion. Okay, so so uh, Infamon became Diaboramon because he got his shit kicked easily. And now even they're all actually surprised. Maki, Kappa, and Katana are all surprised. Breakneck's week, unfortunately. That's a cool shot, domain expansion. His persistence and pride have taken their form. Um, once again, this is going to show, I think, the full fruits of the labor. Um, because he's not going to agree to the sumo match, but he clearly doesn't have a domain expansion, I don't think. Uh, so I think that, uh, Maki is finally going to be like, well, she's not going to have a domain, so, huh. This is actually kind of interesting, because they're quite handicapped as a result of this. They're quite handicapped, um, in this particular way. So... This is actually very interesting. This is a great chapter, guys. This is absolutely a great chapter. I'm very glad um, to the ones who said you should do a live reaction. Of course, live reactions always with me always take like 25, 30 minutes. But, uh, so they're usually longer than my reviews. But that's the chapter. Um, hopefully, it wasn't too, too long. Uh, I really enjoyed this chapter. I'm really excited for the next chapter. Of course, unfortunately, there's a break next week. I'm happy. I'm fundamentally happy. I'm just going to say that right now. When this colony started, I've been done with the, let's jump to this main character in this colony and their fight. Let's jump to this main col colony and their fight. Like, after Hakari, I was sort of done. I wanted to move to phase two. I wanted the rules. I wanted our points. And I wanted to move on to the next part of the arc. And we're still in a colony fighting people, right? And I was sort of like, first off, I'm sort of sick of that formula in this arc. It's let's go to round one, round two, round three, round four, round five. And we're still in the first bracket. We're not even going up. We're not even going to the quarterfinals or the semifinals yet. We're still all in round ones for everybody, for all our characters. And I'm just like, okay, can we speed this along? Like, you know, I don't need to see Maki fodderizing a colony. And then we got the no the, the, the Infamon thing, the Noia thing, whatever. Um, and I wasn't very happy about that. As obvious as it was, I felt it was too soon and I felt like it really damaged some of the character development that we saw. Um, I've gotten over it since, but I wasn't really happy. Pleasantly surprised and happy to be wrong that other than the first initial few chapters of this colony, I have fundamentally enjoyed the last three chapters heavily, very much great chapters, been very excited, very invested in the last three chapters, easy, um, and, I, and I'm happy to say that. I'm happy to be proven wrong about my initial assessment that I wasn't going to care about this colony, hope it gets over soon. Um, it took a twist that I didn't expect and I've actually really enjoyed it. So, for the most part. Didn't like the beginning of it. So far, like the, the majority of this colony. So, um, happy to be wrong about that. But uh, that's the reaction, guys. Um, once again, this was recorded today on Friday. Will be out uh, sometime in the afternoon tomorrow. It'll be scheduled to be out then. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. Don't forget the fourth and most important thing is to drink, but responsibly as I always do. We will see you beautiful people back here once again for more Jiu-Jitsu Kaizen 
chapter 198. Not next week, but the week after, of course. Looking forward to it. Know you guys are too. See ya. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Hasta la vista, baby.